It is guys, Personal Finance in Your 20s and 30s, 5th edition by Sarah Young Fisher, Susan Shelley McGovern, and the information in this is pretty recent. This version was released in 2016. Uh, quite a bit of the information uh, was recent enough of like 2015. And this has, has the basic has the same structure as other Idiot's Guides books. So if you have read their other ones of their books, you're getting pretty much the same setup. And if you have read like the Dummies Guides, like the Dummies books, those are a similar setup as well to these books. Uh, you got eight parts with a, a few different chapters in each and you got three appendixes a glossary they do have gloss like they do explain different things within the book but you got the glossary at the end with everything in one place resources is m like more of like a bibliography but they do add the websites that have been mentioned throughout the book in that one place as well and then you got helpful forms so you got things like dur dur durable general power of attorney limited power of attorney health like um pet care trust agreement will information form a few different things and with the see you got no it's just the sites are listed alphabetically and like other idiot sky books it's discusses a variety of different things and ideas it doesn't go totally in depth it's more of an introduction and it does discuss discuss things that you should, should start thinking about now like Start that would affect you later on like things like when you die or like retirement or when you die so there's different different points throughout the book that are more directed to the American reader we like if you're elsewhere like if you live out elsewhere outside of the, the United States there may be similar things to what is discussed in here, but would be called something else in whatever country you are in. Like a few things that would be in here sound would be named differently here in Canada. So there's, like I said, uh, some of the information like stats or whatever in here are re relatively recent. They are a few years old now, but it's still pretty helpful and relatable. And yeah, it is something to look into that if you aren't, if you have, it's something to look into to have another person's perspective about personal finance or if you are a person that hasn't had like family or other people talk to you about personal finance this would be something to look into and I found like it's you're getting a lot of information but you're getting information that is useful and that can help you out in saying oh here this is this this is that so it is useful so personal finance in your 20s and 30s happy readings